Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make an angel face cocktail. Having said that, it does come out of the Savoy cocktail, but I found it first in this book called Raising the Bar by Adams and Greer. It's on page 245, and they, of course, cite that it came out of the Savoy cocktail book. Uh, but this is an all booze cocktail. So you're gonna be on the boozy end and it's gonna have a kick. In fact, it's a three ingredient cocktail, which is great, it's nice, it's simple, and we're going to stir it. So let's start off with a little bit of gin. Now I'm using Heyman's Dry Style Gin. It is 41.2% ABV, and we're going to start with one ounce or 30 milliliters. Our second ingredient is an apricot liqueur. And what I'm using here is Hexet's Barack. It is 43% ABV. And this is one of the reasons why I say this cocktail is gonna have a huge kick because everything here is at least 40%. We're going to use the same amount of one ounce or 30 mils. Our third ingredient is an apple brandy. In this case, I'm using a little bit of Cavaldose and this is a 40% ABV. Uh, with any of these ingredients that you have here, as you change them, you will change the flavor of the cocktail and it'll be interesting to see what kind of combinations that you get. So we're going to use the same amount of one ounce or 30 mils. Already I can tell we're gonna have a gorgeous light colored cocktail, which is absolutely gonna be perfect, especially for something like say after dinner and sipping. So what we're going to do is we are gonna put a bunch of ice in our mixing glass here. And you just wanna fill it up two thirds of the way. You don't need to fill it up all the way because you're not gonna dilute it as much as you need. Now, if you struggle with your stirring, you have a couple of options. You can stir with the spoon edge or you can stir with the teardrop edge. If you're gonna use the uh, spoon like I am, you just gently move it around the outside while it spins in your hand. I'm going to stir this for about 60 revolutions or so and you'll have your hands at the bottom of the glass because that way you'll be able to gauge the temperature or the chill factor. Then just give it a quick test make sure it's exactly where you want it to be and then you can serve this so i'm going to serve this in an upstyle in a gorgeous little nick and nora glass and what we'll do is we'll just using our hawthorne strainer pour it in look at that absolutely gorgeous perfect wash line and look at that color it's almost the color of a white wine now let's give it a try you get slight hints of apricot, a little bit of apple. This is strong. Like, I mean, it's, it's like drinking a 40% alcohol wine. You've got your brandy, you've got your apricot is right there. You can't tell the gin because it's well diluted, it's chilled and everything just kind of sits there. Um, I can see why this is not necessarily a popular cocktail, or even if it is, it's definitely worth trying because it's got some fantastic flavors. Am I rushing out to buy to go buy one of these? Probably not. But if you like this style of cocktail, take a look after the recipe card.